I'm old man Pat. I've been playing golf over 70 years. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a masterclass how to drive the ball, hit great iron shots, chipping. Bunker play and the traffic light system. Hopefully, my knowledge will make you enjoy the game. So, golf mates, this is what it is it's a masterclass of Old Man Pat. Yes, if you don't know Old Man Pat, he is a legend in the game. He is 78 year old, he's been playing for 70 years, he's been a Cat 1 golfer for over 57 years. And he's going to give us a bit of his knowledge, he's going to break down a bit of everything. So this video should be a nice relaxing one and hopefully, whatever your handicap, there should be some nice tips involved. Right, OMP, you're one of the best drivers of the ball I know. You've told me you now there's three key ingredients for being a good driver of the ball. Well, number one is to keep it straight. That's lining yourself up like. So alignment. Alignment, yes. How do you do your alignment, Pat? Well, I just look, I, I get a marker to, so far up. So when you say marker, OMP, do you pick a marker out yeah. in, on the fairway or in front of you? Yeah, I'll pick a leaf out or something in the middle of the fairway. I pretend I'm driving towards it. So you have like a reference point? Yes. Right, OMP, you've told us how you pick out a target, yeah. but what else have you just said? Then I put my left shoulder towards that target. Can you just set up? Yeah. What are you aiming for now? You won't see it, but there's a leaf there in the middle of the fairway that I can see. I can see. Right, okay. So, so you just line yourself up? Yeah. I've, I've got my shoulder right at this particular leaf. Right? So are you aiming left side at fairway? No, I'm aiming centre of the fairway. Right, okay. Right, OMP, number one's alignment for number being a good driver. Number two? Is balance. A lot of people have their legs, you know, when they hit the ball they fall over or they fall backwards. So do you mean... Get your legs good. good. I'm, I'm one of these, am I? Yes. yes. You're always telling me so... Yeah, and young Josh was the same. Had his legs almost closed. You so you need a wide stance driving yeah, the ball? Wide stance. To get same width as your shoulders? Could have. Right. And that's... What, is that just a foundation of a that's good a swing? foundation so, so you can push yourself forward. If you push yourself forward like that, you fall over. Get you, I get you, I get you. Right, OMP, third tip. Is a trigger for the hit the ball. Right. That's to get, get set, and then, like me, when I'm going to hit the ball, my left foot goes back a bit. That's how I... What, as soon as your left foot goes back? As soon as I lift my left foot, I'm pushing that with this right foot. So straight away, that's your trigger, as soon as you grow. Do you know what, Pat? Can you show us? Do you want me to hit this? Yes, please. Never thought about having a trigger. It was done so quick, you might not see it, do we? Yeah, but, so a trigger is important. Oh yeah, I would have thought so. Right, OMP, we're going to talk about chip and runs, your yeah. speciality. Right. Seven or an eight iron. I use a seven iron. So what we're going to show the golf mates is this. Today it's wet conditions. Yeah but also in the summer it's dry conditions so to the target a seven iron yeah. would you'd bounce it quarter of the way quarter of the way to the pin and let it run out run out wet conditions where today is halfway to the pin can you show us an example my friend so pat what are you bouncing this well halfway between me and the flag okay mate Shot. Great shot. Shot again, Pat. Take them all day long. Oh, 
But you've held that one, ain't you? Oh, right behind the hole. Pat, it... So what you're saying there is a rule of thumb is fantastic. Summer greens, first bounce, one quarter yeah. of the way. Wetter greens or US spec greens, what can hold, halfway. Halfway. Right. Is there a certain technique you're doing? Well, me, and I'm sure anyone will tell you the same. Don't break your wrist. Don't break your wrist. Keep stiff, stiff wrists all the time. So firm wrists? As though you're bowling a ball. Just. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. So if you're bowling a ball, you're not going to break your wrist, no, are you? No. Right. That, do you know what? That, that's a new one on the show. So brilliant. That's a great tip. Well, I just I assumed that people would do that. But uh, not I, everyone's been playing for 70 years, I, Pat. Well, I have seen a lot of people when they do, they do break their wrist. Do you mean like the dick? Yeah. Scoop yeah. it. Scoop. Right, OMP. Yeah. I've put you in the lurch here, Anna. You have. Ready so chipping over bunkers. What club are you using? 56 somewhere. Right, we'll get this out. You'll not have a more lofty club, will you? No, no only 56. We don't need it as amateurs, do we? No. Right, so 56. Any technique different in your last chip and run? No, just the same. Keep your wrist, keep your hands stiff on it and don't break your wrist. Get you an acceleration through the ball. Acceleration through the ball. We'll talk about a traffic light system because you've already said this is an amber, isn't it? Left yes. of the pin. But if you're a high handicapper and this is going to panic you, it's red and just go straight left, just straight left and get your putts. Right, come on, young man. Lovely shot. Oh, soft bounce, but no, it's safe. Beautiful shot. Great golf shot. So there's nothing different at all there. No, just keep. Can you just show us again on the side? Just do your. Sh if you look at me, young man. Yeah. Right. Do your. Do your chip again. Just keep. Keep. Don't break your wrist. Sandy Lyle had had the thing about putting a leaf between between the left, and if the leaf fell out, you're breaking the wrist. Right. So keep keep the leaf tight against it. Just sweep the ball. Thank you, mate. OMP. Yes. Bunker player. Correct. The hardest part of the game. Is that what you say? Well, it is for high handicappers, yes. Can you show us your technique before I ask you some questions? Yes. Shall I try and knock one out? Right, I P. I've moved you, but put you in a scenario here now, and it's a bit of course management. Which is, would you go for the pin there, or are you going to go right at the pin because there's more room? Just go to go slightly right at the pin because of the lip at front it's of the bunker. The front, yeah. All right. One's gone left. <laughs> well, you're not a machine, are you? Is that natural instincts? Well, that's it. That's what happened. So, you told me again off camera, it's inch behind the ball. Inch behind the ball. But you, you have to accelerate when you're hitting oh, the yeah. ball, don't you? You can't decelerate. No, no, no. Don't stop. Yeah. Go right. Right, golf mates. If you're really struggling out of bunkers, don't. If there's, if there's in a bunker with no sharp lip, don't be frightened to use your pussy and just have a go at that. OMP. Yes. Iron shots. Yes. Firstly, you've already told us straight away off camera, good stance for your legs again. Don't, oh. want, to don't want to be narrow, do you? No, no, no. But you actually said here, obviously alignment, same when you're driving, but most importantly, what you've just said is grip pressure. Grip pressure, yeah. So if you were gripping the club as tight as you can, yes. and you said that is 10 out of 10, yes. what pressure out of 10 would you like them to hold the club? Then go down to about four. Four? Four. So you want to grip it slightly? Yeah, just slightly release your hands a bit. 
So you're saying don't grip it that tight no. and that gives you freedom then? That's right. Okay. And you've also said alignment, yeah. posture, as yeah. you said, and a wide stance. Wide stance. And the, the other thing is like my driver. Left shoulder at the point where you want the ball to go. Right, OMP, give us a, a whack. Straight away, traffic light system, you're going amber, aren't you? Yeah. Amber or red? Well, red. Perfect. Right, OMP, putting. Putting. You're probably one of the better putters I know, and you've probably been a great putter for over 50 years. What is your technique, and what can you recommend? Well, again, Liam, this is a, a very personalised shot in golf, right? Everybody's got their own way, but all I do is I hold the club like this. Let's zoom into you. Go on, geek it like to And put our hand down there, and then I use the same method as I do with chip and roll. So you don't break your wrist? Don't break my wrist. Just back and forth. Back and forth. Like the bowling. Like the bowling thing again. And you say that's only one thing what the any golf mate will yeah. find themselves. You see some golf you've got the, they go back and break the wrist and they actually chip the ball on the green. Yeah so that's gonna lead to what? Yeah. That not, leads to the ball. Not consistent. Go on just have a putt pat while we've got your ear. Oh, that's good enough for me, mate. Thank you, golf mates. Hope you liked the video. Comment below. And if you want to see more of it, we'll do it for you.